story of some children in some village who can't walk. They also have this very rare disease. And even that was already, you know, a big worry for me until this young man appeared on the screen. And apparently he had been asking to meet Portia for a long time. So I was curious as to what exactly the story was. She walked in, he, and he's a very good artist. He drew Portia in minutes. But this young man has to struggle to speak. Maybe we should play the sound so you understand. I was told a student, Samuel Lakono, wanted to meet me to tell his story to the world. What I did not know was that meeting him would affect me emotionally as I began to interview him. My name is Samuel Lakono. I'm a student of UEW. This is how I have been informed. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm even emotional. So. It's okay. okay. Uh, what a pity. Yeah. Uh, he, and he has to struggle to be able to speak. And this uh, as, is, is an abnormality that will plague you yeah. and then tend to create a lot of stigma in the community in which mm -hmm. you live. And I can just imagine um, what the family goes through, knowing that he has this difficulty yeah. and what the perception that people tend to have. But yeah. then we have to speak about the bigger issues about whether we have the strong buffers and the welfare yeah. systems that are, that are able to take care of people who ordinarily have um, diseases or abnormalities which sometimes are not really diagnosed by the systems that we have, the yeah. medical system that we have. Um, just over the last 24 hours, I was having a conversation with a friend and somebody has uh, an ailment Apparently, it's, uh, it's a rare form of cancer, mm. and, but, and it presents all forms of, um, I think, symptoms like just you have malaria, etc. Mm. Had been going to the hospital for months. Mm. And, you know, because he lived far away from the main city center, he was hopping from one clinic and uh, finally ended up at a prayer camp, okay, that. you know. And, and it speaks volumes about whether we have um, the systems by way of public health that will enable us, um, if we need them in times of emergencies, to be able to rescue us. Because I keep saying, the day that we will need a medical emergency and we don't have it, that those are the days that we have to question whether we're doing what is right by our own selves, you know. And uh, there's a man who, who need, he needs special care. He does. And, and do we have those special care exactly. facilities around? But even, even beyond that, could they have diagnosed this much earlier in his life? And yeah. maybe they could have prevented the severity of whatever it is that's wrong with him at this point. We're told it's his birthday today, so he's joining us in the studio. Okay. Um, I know he has difficulty speaking, and mm. so we're going to make arrangements for him to still communicate mm. without necessarily having Struggling. to speak because mm. he struggles to speak. So happy birthday to you, Samuel. And he'll be joined by a clinical psychologist because we're told that this is just beyond you know, someone who stammers. Mm. And so it could be, like you mentioned earlier, a neurological uh, problem. And so we'll try and diagnose that, hopefully, even though it goes beyond just sitting in a studio um, to diagnose it. So look forward to this conversation much later. But very important uh, point you raised there, the fact that our health system, even for basic things, and I'll say basic because um, when it comes to pregnancy and childbirth, it shouldn't be much of a difficulty. But even that, that women who are carried in wheelbarrows, mm. that women who are carried in all kinds of things just to get them to the hospital. And even before they get to the hospital, I remember there was a story where a woman gave birth, delivered in the middle of the road. 
in one of the villages. These are basic things that we should be able to provide, um, you know, for citizens. And we're 66 years after independence, and these are things we cannot provide. To the Welcome extent that to our whole finance minister has to travel out of the country because he can afford it to go and seek medical help um, for a disease that was battering every country, literally. Every, but we've, everybody else everybody, in Ghana. Well, in every country, <laughs> because all the other countries also were suffering from it. But I didn't hear anybody saying that I'm moving from the U.S. to go to the U.K. to go and seek medical help for whatever it is that COVID was doing to me. Because even them, with their developed structures and system, it was still hitting them. So how much more us? And we always say that we're grateful to God that COVID did not ravage us like it did Spain, where thousands of people were dying or every Italy. day, or you Italy. know? But what have we learned from this? We're still talking about having hospitals, Agenda 111. We still have not been able to put up one, just one of that. And there's a young, well, he's not a young boy. He's a baby. He's just about two years. I've been following his story keenly. And he had cancer in his um, scrotum. Now, for a long time, they had tried to find a solution to it. But he's had to travel to India to go and get a bone marrow transplant. Thanks to God for that. Um, and, and lots of other things. But it cost thousands of dollars. Now, imagine if your parents don't have that kind of money to travel outside the country to find health care for you or medical health um, you know, attention for you. You're going to be in this country and the likelihood of you dying or living with an even worse condition is so high. But our leaders constantly come with promises, we'll do A, B, C, and D, and we never see any level of development, especially in the health sector. I don't know what they're doing about it, but clearly they haven't done anything in the last God knows how long. Oh, and it's worrying. Um, just how long ago were it at uh, the La General Hospital, yeah. which uh, is now supposed, if ideally, because this month makes it three years since we yes. had the president visit there for all the rasmatas that could have been associated with it for the 2020 general elections. And a project that was supposed to have been completed in just months has now taken three years. And you ask yourself the question, look, if we knew that we're not ready, uh, we didn't have the right sort of funding arrangements, yeah. or we were not going to play our part as far as the counterfunding is concerned, uh, then we shouldn't have put the old structure down. Hmm. Could, could we have um, used the old structure knowing that we're not ready to have the hospital constructed for the people of La, but also the adjoining communities? And this is not the first time. The last time we were there, um, there were stories that were narrated by individuals within the community and elsewhere about relatives, about friends who had lost their lives on their way, just being referred from one hospital to the other. Mm. Because mind you, if you don't have a bed, there's no ambulance that is going to pick you to any health facility. So you have to book the bed or there should be a confirmation that there is a bed in the nearest facility you're visiting mm -hmm. before the ambulance comes to pick you. Otherwise, you'll just be flip-flopping or hopping in that ambulance from one health facility to the other. And we know these are uh, issues that are symptomatic of our health yeah. system. And to think that even the ordinary tropical medical problems, we're not able to deal with them. And then to talk about some of these rare uh, conditions that people tend to have. Look. There are people who are being plagued with serious ailments. Ailments that ideally, I think, because they affect public health but also productivity, mm. we, we need to seriously take attention to, uh, uh, to them. And, and hopefully mm. we, we're hoping that maybe instead of people traveling in the next 20 years, maybe we'll have our own health facilities that, that, that will be able to cater for some of the, some of the things that, that plague us. I, I, I have visited the UGMC, mm. and I was surprised that we had such an ultra-modern hospital in Ghana. I've never seen some Are before. we making good use of it? Well, because if at, at the time it was open, we're question. told that some of the equipment had become rusty, some things had expired there, we had to now bring in new things. It's, it's a no, big problem. No, please don't, don't believe all that. I shouldn't believe. Is oh, that not the truth? It's a, it's a, is it, that not the it, truth? It, it's a hospital that... Um, is working if we wanted it to be functional because of the money we spent would be functional no but if that's what i'm saying we yeah. waited so long and there was a lot of back and forth oh. even before it was officially opened but even at that time were yeah. some those were just not excuses, going excuse. bad guys because 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 we decided not to put them into good use 
Hmm. You're dumbfounded, right? That's what I'm no, saying. I'm, that not, we I'm, not, that I'm not dumbfounded. It's just taking me all the way back into time mm. and to actually think that this country, when it comes to health, plays with too many things. Now, mm. um, too many things are running through my head, but I'll try to take it from, from a certain point. You see, I, I'm glad that as a team we decided to talk about this as our main discussion for, for today. I just can't wait to meet the young man. And kudos to Portia, by the yeah. way, for yeah. um, that news item. But this is one out of many mm -hmm. that have been documented for us to see. I remember when my nephew, mm. um, he was sickle, he had sickle cell. Mm. So one time crisis hit and he was left alone with his brother who was only three mm. years old. How so old was your nephew? He was six. Isaac was six, and then Kwame was three. So when he had crisis, there was nobody in the room at the time. Hmm. So Kwame held on to Isaac till he died. Oh. How traumatic. He was only three. Till today, Kwame is not okay here. Because it was too much for a lad like that, or for an infant like mm -hmm. that, to experience such a traumatic event. There was nobody around. So after several hours when parents now came in and they realized that Isaac was dead, it was a tough moment detaching him Ooh. from Kwame because he held that onto him man. and Kwame didn't know what to do. Yeah. So for several hours, they were clung to each other mm -hmm. and it had to take some serious force to even get the Separate dead ba him. dead baby or Isaac off Kwame. Until today, he's not okay here. Our systems, when it comes to health, do not work in this country. Not to brag or anything, but I've lived in the U.S. And I remember when my sisters had children. Bella, the routine checks would wow you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you bring the children to the hospital, between zero and three months, there are certain things that they are supposed to be doing. If they are not doing it, it's a problem. Yeah. If they are overdoing it, it's it is a problem. problem. Between three and six months, there are things that they are supposed to be doing. The, the, six the to nine doctors, months. You mean. No, no, or no. The, the children. No, the children. Okay, okay. In yes. terms of their development. Exactly. So it's like every quarter, there are certain developments that you must see. If you see too much of it, it's, it's a, a problem. problem. If you see less of it, it's a problem. So in most houses in the US, of course, the apartments, so you would find staircases. If the children don't go to and fro or up and down the staircase at a at certain age, age, that's a problem. Mm. If they go too much, that's a problem. If your child finds very tricky ways of outwitting, maybe how you've blocked the staircase and all that, listen, the system it works. works. We've sat in this country where we've had a PAT explosions. And on this platform, we've talked about if they've had psychological help. Till today, we don't even know what's been done. I get what so um, West War one. Remember that gentleman who's mm -hmm. got the metal mm -hmm. in his legs? Bro, imagine you are young and able and capable. You can move to and fro. You can do everything that you want. And then just because of an election, now you cannot even move and your leg is resting on a little pillow all day. As a young man, mentally and psychologically, that will take a toll on you. Remember that woman who had the baby with the tumor, mm. the big the head, one who came exactly, here. Yeah. last year. And when we're discussing, one of the things we concentrated on was the psyche of the woman. When you don't know what to do in such an instance as a parent or as a guardian or somebody who's around the child, God forbid, even if that child passes on, mm. what now happens to the woman? How does she reform? How does she survive the rest of her days? We do not pay attention to these things. And we take everything, it's like everything is just a joke. Everything is normal. But we have too many of these people living in our societies and would attribute it to witchery, would attribute it to spiritual problems. But these are medical situations that can be tamed at very early stages in if our medical systems worked in this country. We take mental health for granted. We, it's like we wake up in the morning and it's just NDC and MPP every day. But the nitty gritties that we are supposed to be paying attention to, we do not pay attention to them. And the normal people who don't have money to travel abroad mm, are just stuck with these challenges. Mm. And then the politicians who have the money would always find a way to go out. Remember we had an autistic child Mm. Again, on the show, mm. who had a parent mm. 
by dint of luck and by the grace of God, understood what the child was going through at a very, very tender age. And by some miraculous means and by hard work, she's been able even to tame the autistic child mm -hmm. to the point where he can actually play the keyboard. And he had some hyper something, I've forgotten the term, but he couldn't sit in one place. But they've been able to tame him to this point where he can actually sit, play keyboard, listen to instructions and all that. The systems do not work. And I think she said she had some help from the UK or something. So yeah. the child drinks only rainwater because she had to learn, she had to study to be able to know the things that will mm. work for the child. How many facilities do we have in this country that are able to educate parents who have children with such rare diseases that, okay, when you have this situation, this is what you can do. Come here, do this. This is the help available. Where is the help when you're looking for the help in this country? You are sick and they ask you to get a bed before you even call the ambulance. When you call the ambulance, the ambulance will ask you if you have a bed before they come for you. And if you don't have money to buy fuel for the ambulance, it's not even coming for you. What type of country is this? Ghana. Hmm. Hmm. The country is Ghana. It's a country what, where what, we, we had to wait for vaccines to even run out. I was just going to say that. We had to wait for vaccines. How do we sit for an outbreak of measles all in the 16 districts in the northern region and we start to sing and then now government really knows that we don't have the vaccines and they come and they, they cannot even tell us when they will arrive and later on we realize that they came from neighboring Ivory Coast and Nigeria. Where is this? Like, wh Ghana, which, which place? And we were all hit by COVID. Exactly. But for some reason, Nigeria yes. has exactly. Ghana. Nigeria. Even wh where, is where, where is this? Where is this place? Like, where Ghana. is this? Like, Ghana. this place is where? I mean, I mean, I, mean I, 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 I can. I, and Ghana. what did that pastor That's say Ghana. this place? Umofia. Umofia. Where is this place? Umofia. Like, what, what, what Umofia. is this? What, what is this? Where you know, is this place? You know, the, the reality of our situation is there, there are key questions that, ha that have been asked over the period. And these border on the various sections of the health system. You look at the value chain. Even in training, do we have enough per the population by way of doctors, nurses, etc.? Do we have enough of the facilities by way of the locations that we have in our country? So these are systematic um, efforts that we need to make. And so, for example, when the president says he's undertaking state of the nation address, mm. these are the things that critically he needs to come to tell us, mm. for example. Why La General Hospital is not being constructed? And it's on after one three years. Level. Why, after three years, why, why raise it at ground level? Why 111 already? hospitals at various stages of construction and some not constructed at all? How about the chips and, compounds that we have that are not functional at the moment? So these are the critical things that when people want to hear the president speak, that they want him to talk about. You see, and, and that is the reality. It, it is a safe if you talk about the problems that plague ordinary people, and we are ordinary people, it's yeah. a safe we're all speaking for months and we don't want to confront the reality. The standard of our living is, is, is not commensurate to what ideally we were promised, the number of resources that we get by way of the inflows from our multilateral partners over the period, and then what promises are made by way of the facilities that need to be put up. And until we get to that point where we say that we are in sufficiency based on the level of development that we are as a country, 66 six years after our independence, mm. we shouldn't talk about anything. Mm. Look at the state of the motorway. Mm. Look at the state of various health facilities. You know, and if you question some of these things, you ask yourself, if we have to use... Um, how, how much did we use for that um, COVID? COVID just about 12, 12 billion of the money that oh, we received. Okay. So now we even decided that we wanted to ensure health workers. Even categorizing who was a frontline health worker was problematic it. for mm. us. We didn't it's not as if we didn't do it all. But we should ask the question, when we were confronted with COVID, and here again, we were not having the numbers like other countries mm. had. I remember your the friend that we spoke man, to the other day the, 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 who, who specific, didn't receive any... There are specific stories that I have of people, for example, who, who made entry into Tema General Hospital or other health they facilities. they were turned away. They were not turned away. You'll be sent to the emergency 
while we were told that we had isolation wards. And you know, you had to be tested. Because the testing regime, and by the time you get the results channel takes time, mm -hmm. and you, you remember within the period, was sometimes six uh, yeah. days. Yeah. And, there, and was a, there was a point in time that we even ran out of testing kits. Exactly, yeah, and you were critically out. ill. They'll put you among the patients mm -hmm. at the adult so emergency. So you're just spreading it. Exactly. And these, are the, and these are the issues that confronted us within the period of COVID. And so there are people who might have had COVID, but didn't know that they had COVID, mm -hmm. just the, and they recovered. So if the health workers were supposed to have been insured with so-so and so amount, up to now, they haven't we haven't them. had the finance minister come to tell us that my company, which did the insurance enterprise, and now they decided to add others as well, these are uh, the number of people who work in the health sector, categorized as frontline health workers who got COVID and so got insured, and these are the benefits yeah. that they no got. No accountability. And, 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 then... and, and, and these are captured in the special audit undertaken uh, on the COVID expenditures well, by the, the Auditor General. The President says he ordered the audit to be done. No problem. And he can assure no you problem. that no monies, no amount of no. money was misused or were misused. No problem. That's according to the President. As if to say, why are you people but crying? Captured, why are you making noise? Because I said, it's like he's trying to say, and now the results are out there. If I didn't ask for an audit to be done, would you have been thinking? But they are the, captured so, that's, in that's the Auditor like, General's uh, report. And we all know that he when, says he when, you, when you have gone through auditing, he said he requested you are given for an opportunity it. of some kind of response by way of what they call the audit conference. Yeah. And so if, if I was audited and all the documents that I provided, the invoices, hmm. the coverings by way of the documentation, we're just not up to scratch. <laughs> I'll be asked in that audit conference, please, these are what and what we noticed. We saw that we, you couldn't account for so so and so amount of money. Mm -hmm. and, and these will be, will be captured in there because they give you time for yeah. you to be able to give the, the proper auditor documentation. those, and you are the auditee. You, they give you time for you to respond to that audit before they finally publish it. They do. Now we are being told mm -hmm. that even the Auditor General publishing that is problematic. Yeah, he should have waited. So we have to wait exactly for, that, for that report it. to come to the Public, public Accounts account. Committee yes, of Parliament yes. in, in a year exactly. or two's time. Mm. Before it is published and then, out And then the, the various public officials <laughs> mm -hmm. and the politically exposed appointees will now have to come and tell us that, oh, uh, well, um, we are sorry. This is what we could Mr. find. Aha, yeah, him fine. Aha, where, where? Ghana. Like here. It is Ghana. This place is called and, and, so, like, and so when, where, when, like, when some of these things are captured in properly documented ways, we have to know these are the official position of authorities or bodies that have been mandated either by the regulation, the constitution, etc., to undertake their work. We don't have to badmouth everybody and say that, look, the Auditor General decided to... No. It is... You, you, you know, when you look at point 31 of the Auditor General's report on COVID expenditure, it says that out of the 21.8 billion Ghana cities and coins, of course, we got in excess of that, that was mobilized, only 11.750 yeah, billion was, used, yeah. was spent on COVID-19 yeah. activities. Yeah. The rest mm. was spent on budget support. Free SHS. I want to understand what they mean by budget support. So we use them for other things. Yes. If that's the case, how come we're not seeing the effects mm. of that mm. on the economy? They also and we're still where we are. We're still struggling. They said they use back parts again also for, for free SHS, billion. you remember? I remember. But, but the but schools but still do not have food. I mean, the schools still do I, not have it food. Make sense. The shortage of food in the schools. It doesn't make sense. I've been to schools where there's no electricity and they're using the street lights to study outside. Right here on this show, we have shown it on TV here. It, it so be what fine. are we? It I don't think we'll get fine. If, you see, if we're, we don't admit, it is well. No, what did that, you say? That's, it's it's that's, 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 that's what we say. It, it will be fine if we don't time. admit our we're time part of the problem. or in the times of our grandchildren. Never, like when? When is it going to be okay? It will never. It is well when. Maybe in ten years. Yesterday, I was having a conversation with a hairdresser, and she says that at least for some of you, you even have money that helps you take care of yourselves. How about us? People who have kids. Some of us who have kids. She says it's pathetic because. It's, it's bad enough that you don't even have enough to take care of yourself. 
Now, every little money you get, you have to think of your child or your children first. So everything goes to them. And especially and when things they get that sick. she was buying for 500 Ghana cities, she says that she's spending the, about 1,500 Ghana cities buying the same amount of things for the family. 1,500. And I'm sure her source hasn't Thousand, increased. It has Her source of income Nothing hasn't has increased. increased. Yeah. Nothing. Her source of income. Nothing. So I ask again, where is this place? Ghana. The whole, where? Of, la Indeed, the, like the, the whole of last week where? on social media, we had some autopilot saying that everything was okay. 